In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure global distribution on your Azure Cosmos DB account, in which you can replicate your account to additional regions, you can remove regions, you can also configure a set of policies for uh, performing automatic failover or manual failover. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the Azure portal and open up the blade for your Azure Cosmos DB account. Uh, here I have um, a blade open for an account I've already provisioned and what you're going to see here is on the left hand side under settings I have an option called replicate data globally. When I click on replicate data globally uh, what you can see here is I have a map in which I can select additional regions so if I wanted to add instances uh, of my database and replicate to let's say Australia, Japan, and Central India I can click on these regions on the map and I can also remove regions. So let's say I have uh, a region, a replica already located in West Europe. If I want to remove it, I can also deselect it and click Save. Once I click Save, Cosmos DB will automatically start building out and replicating uh, uh, some instances in the new additional regions that I've configured. It'll also automatically do the teardown for the regions I, uh, I, I want to remove. Uh, now, once you've set up a, a set of regions for your Cosmos DB account, uh, you can also configure the automatic failover policy. And what this allows you to do is, in the event of an outage, um, we can gracefully fail back to an, a number of other uh, Azure regions so that the application maintains availability. And the Cosmos DB model is, uh, today, rights are uh, affinitized to a single region while reads are made ubiquitous to all. And right now what I have is on this account I have a, a right region defined as central US and a list uh, and a, a large number of secondary read only regions in which I can get low latency read requests from. Now uh, when I turn on automatic failover what will happen is in the event of an outage in central US what will happen is Southeast Asia will be automatically promoted to my uh, right region and in the event of an outage in Southeast Asia North Europe will be the uh, next region in line to uh, serve write requests out of and replicate over to uh, the other global regions. Now, let's say I don't want Southeast Asia as my fallback region for South Central US uh, because geographically that's actually quite far and the impact for write latency for my application actually might be quite high. So what I can do is I can actually configure what is the priority of different regions by dragging and dropping these regions so that in the event of Central US uh, experiencing an outage due to some kind of, let's say, natural disaster, whether it's a hurricane, earthquake, or something else, uh, it'll fall back to West US as its next preferred rate region, and then East US too, uh, and so forth. In addition to configuring uh, failover policies at a server level, you can also configure a list of uh, preferred locations to connect to uh, in a priority list on the client level. So here I have some sample code for how you would instantiate a Cosmos DB client using the .NET SDK. Um, the other SDKs look, look uh, really quite similar, so uh, you can look for the uh, at the uh, documentation for what is the equivalent in the other SDKs. And here what I'm doing is I'm constructing a new document client to connect to Cosmos DB. And what you'll see here is it takes in an input parameter called connection policy. In the connection policy, it can also set a list of preferred locations. And what I'm doing here is for this client, I'm configuring it to prefer East US in the event of an outage in East US, uh, it'll fall back to North Europe, Southeast Asia, and, and so forth. Uh, the reason why you'd wanna do a set of preferred locations both on the client as well as the server is uh, you may have application instances also deployed all around the world. And so if I have an application instance deployed in East US, North Europe, and Southeast Asia, the instance that is deployed in East US should connect to East US to ensure the lowest latency for its reads. Meanwhile, a, um, another instance of the application that is deployed in North Europe will actually want to prefer North Europe as its first preferred region so that it gets low latency 
and an application in a sense in Southeast Asia will want to prefer to connect to the region closest to it as well. Uh, so this way, each of the application instances deployed all around the world get uh, very, very low latencies. In addition to automatic failover, uh, you can also perform manual failover. So whether you want to test uh, failover in your application to just make sure your application is, is resilient, or you want to uh, rehome the write region, let's say instead of having central US as my current write region, you want to home writes to West US, you can select uh, from this list of read regions and promote any single one of them to the right region and click OK. And what Cosmos DB will do is it'll make sure the, the region that you're promoting to uh, be your next right region, uh, it'll be fully caught up to your current right region, uh, drain the replication queue, and once it's fully caught up, it'll rehome all of the writes uh, to the new right region that you've configured. This concludes our video on global distribution. Uh, thank you for watching.